This is a basic review of the human cranium. This is an adult skull and uh, we can rotate to see the anterior features of the skull related to the face. If we look at a, a bird's eye view, this is the top or the vertex of the skull, the highest point, and this skull cap is referred to as the calvaria. We can also rotate inferiorly and see the skull base uh, with one prominent feature being the foramen magnum, so this large uh, opening in the base of the skull. Another prominent uh, feature of the skull is the mandible, or our lower jawbone. We'll see that this uh, specimen has uh, some teeth and is an edentulous in uh, other areas. This specimen has been uh, fixed so that a, a cut has been made to remove the calvaria and that will allow us to see the inner aspects of the skull. So let's begin with the anterior surface of the skull. This is uh, the facial region and some of the important bones uh, that are formed and found in this region include the frontal bone. We see uh, the superorbital rim. Uh, this uh, inferior aspect of the orbit is uh, part of our maxillary bone. A lateral aspect of this uh, outer orbit is the zygomatic bone. And then uh, we see uh, an, an extension of the maxillary bone here, the maxillary process. This is the left and right nasal bones. Of the frontal bone, we see uh, a large uh, opening here. This is the superorbital foramen, duplicated on this side. On the uh, maxillary bone, we see the infraorbital foramen. And then continuing along this vertical line, we see the mental foramen. And these are for uh, terminal cutaneous branches of the trigeminal nerve, and specifically it's V1, V2, and V3 segments. A large opening in the face that leads into the nasal cavity is called the piriform aperture with a prominent uh, anterior nasal spine shown here. We see the maxillary bone left and right house the upper teeth. The mandible houses our lower teeth. And uh, a lateral projection of the skull shows us some of the um, larger features of the mandible a coronary process, a mandibular notch, the neck and head of the mandible. And you'll notice that the head of the mandible articulates with uh, the inferior surface of this part of the temporal bone, which is this large uh, bone we'll review momentarily. And at this articulation forms your temporal mandibular joint. As we move back down to the mandible, we'll see uh, the, the body, the ramus, and the angle of the mandible. A mental protuberance anteriorly, and again, the mental foramen.